six for you and a pretty chaotic qualifying. Talk yeah. us through your lap. Uh, my lap, well, my lap was pretty good, I thought. Um, it was on the used tyre in Q3, so um, uh, for the used tyre and uh, and, and P6, I was quite happy. Um, would have loved to have got that final lap in and uh, uh, just had that last crack at it, you know, new tyres. I was already one tenth up just after turn one, so there was definitely potential to be two or three places higher, um, which would have been lovely, but yeah, it's just the way back it is sometimes you can uh, you can get unlucky and I'm sure other people are in the same boat as me but uh just sucks sometimes that um you have people especially when they're ahead of you uh who cause a red flag or something um and uh and kind of just screw your qualifying over you know so it's a shame but it's, it's the way it is and you are under investigation for red flag procedure can you tell us any more have you heard the latest news uh I haven't I, no I didn't know I was um I do now <laughs> But, uh, Sorry. I have to go and speak to the team and, and see what uh, what's happening. I don't know what the what the crack is, so um, I'm hoping everything will be fine. I don't think I've done anything wrong. So. And P6 tomorrow, of course, on a track that does favour overtaking. What are the expectations? Well, I think there was some like more pace in the car today. So, I mean, I've, some of the cars ahead of us were just definitely quicker. Um, you know, like uh, considering Pierre did a 42-1 in her in FP3 already. They seem definitely quicker than us um, the Ferrari's on pole so they, they're quicker than us Hamilton definitely seems maybe a bit more within our reach but the Red Bulls are quicker they have been all weekend so I don't know I think we're like third or fourth quickest but um, there was more potential from us today so hopefully I can save that and, and use it for tomorrow